Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing an epic comparison between the Evergood CTB26 and the recently updated Evade 1.5 from Alpha 1.9er. These are two of the most versatile and full featured bags that you can currently get. I've really enjoyed using them both. They offer a great build quality, tons of comfort and space, really nice organizational layouts, but there are some differences between the two that can make it difficult to pick which one might be best for you depending on your needs. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Before jumping in, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the exterior of the bags, both of these have a pretty functional appearance in my opinion. You can tell there's a lot of pockets and zippers, so they're not the most minimal bags, but I still think that the appearance is versatile enough to work well in a variety of different settings, whether you're exploring a city, traveling, going into the outdoors, or taking this into the office. I do think that the CTB26 has a little bit more of a minimal and subdued appearance, just due to the fact that the Evade has some additional attachment points, you do have the ability to add a bungee cord on the front, it has compression straps, so there's just a little bit more kind of going on. Uh, but you know, in general, I still really like the appearance of both of the bags. As far as the materials, both bags feel very solidly built. The Evade is offered in a couple of different fabrics. The version that I have here is a VX42X pack, but it also comes in 500D Cordura, I believe, and a 630D Twill fabric. So all of those are gonna be very rugged. I always like the X pack for the additional weather resistance that it provides, but you know, I know that's not everybody's preference. And then the CTB26 is offered in a 420D high tenacity nylon which has been used in a couple of other bags. I've always had good experiences with it as far as durability and weather resistance. I really like that the material is also not super rigid, so it'll just mold around everything that's on the inside. To me, that always helps prevent the bags from looking overly bulky when they're not packed out. Um, so, you know, really solid fabric on both fronts. Beyond that, they have, you know, just really great hardware, Wujin buckles, and then very smooth working and durable YKK zippers all throughout. Although both bags have rock solid build qualities, I would give maybe a slight edge to the Evade 1.5 just due to the variety of fabrics that you can purchase the bag in as well as the various color combinations that are available. Continuing along the exterior, one of the cool things about both of these bags is that they have external water bottle pockets, one on each side, which seems to be more rare these days with modern bags. The implementation on both of these is really solid. They're gonna be able to handle larger water bottles comfortably. I believe they should both be able to hold a 32 ounce Nalgene. I currently have a 26 ounce Yeti Rambler. That's probably the largest bottle that I tend to use and it fits comfortably into both of these bags. The implementation here is a little bit different. I would say that the Evades just kind of blends in a little bit more nicely into the exterior of the bag has the same X-Pack fabric, and when it's not in use, it just kind of really hugs the bag and blends in, whereas the ones on the CTB, you know, they're just a little bit different as far as the coloring, the material. I feel like they also expand outward a little bit more than the Evade pockets, so that to me has been helpful when the main compartment is packed out. I feel like I get a little bit more space on the CTB versus the Evade, which does expand, but it starts to kind of collide with the main area of the bag just a little bit more. So small difference there, but for most people, the water bottle pockets on these are gonna be excellent. And then one thing to call out about the pockets with the Evade is you also have the added benefit of the compression strap that you can add and remove. So that's gonna be great if you're using these for a tripod or to secure other items. You have some additional functionality here. You can also use this to compress the bag down if it's not quite as full. Uh, whereas the CTB doesn't have anything on that side. But one thing that the CTB does have is a really nice handle on the side, which is missing from the Evade, unfortunately. So I've heard a couple of people say you can kind of use the compression strap in that manner. But, you know, that's uh, uh, to me something that I would really like to have, particularly when we get into the luggage pass through conversation. That would have been really useful, and it's something I use a lot on the CTB26, and so great to see that included. Both of them have a nice top handle. Evergoods has, you know, their typical style 
with the aluminum stay. I've always, you know, been comfortable with these. They're not the most comfortable as far as the edges. It's a little bit more rigid, not so padded. Same with the Evade. You know, you have a little bit more grip. These come up quite a bit. So I kind of like the implementation on the Evergood side a little bit more, but regardless, really nice to have that top handle. And then on the front of the bags, the Evergoods logo on the bottom also allows you to customize it with a variety of patches. That was one change with the new version of the Evade is that there's no longer the hook and loop area on the front. There's a little pocket that I talk about in the video that is meant to pair with a magnet patch, but if you don't have that, you don't really have the ability to add it here on the exterior. And then one last difference to call out on the exterior of these bags is that the Evade has these loops along the front and bottom that will allow you to pair with a bungee cord that's included with the bag that will you know, allow you to hold some additional items that don't fit on the inside. I don't use that as much with this version of the bag, but great to have that additional option where you don't really have that same option with the CTB. One feature that I've started to pay a lot more attention to over the past year is how well bags stand up on their own. Both of these have the ability to stand up. I would say that the Evade is definitely the more stable one. It works more consistently. It has that very wide bottom. Also, its shape is just a little bit more rigid. The CTB can stand on its own, but it just depends a little more on how the weight is distributed right now with you know the items that I have in the main area. It's kind of weighing it down and helping to stabilize it so that it's not falling over, but I have noticed that as I start to unload it a bit, it's just not quite as stable as the Evade, but in general, both of them do a pretty good job, especially compared to many of the other options on the market. And then taking a look at the capacity, the Evade is listed at about 25 liters, and the CTB, as the name implies, is 26 liters. So in general, I'm a big fan of this size of bag as it feels very versatile as far as giving you enough space for everything that you might need on your day to day, even for a longer day, but also something that can be used for minimal travel without looking overwhelmingly big. And so both of them, you know, do a good job for those use cases. I would say that the Evade to me tends to feel a little bit larger than some of the other 25 liter bags that I've used. I would say it, it even feels maybe slightly bulkier than the CTB26, even though it's listed at a higher volume. I guess the height might factor into it. I believe the CTB might be a little bit taller, but in general, it's not a huge difference in capacity between the two. They're a little bit larger for everyday carry, so that's something to keep in mind. But generally with this size, I would be pretty comfortable carrying both of these onto a variety of domestic and international airlines, as well as just using them for navigating crowded areas and jumping onto public transit. Taking a look at the harness system, both of these have been really comfortable to wear. They do offer fairly different implementations to their harnesses. So they have you know, pretty well padded straps. I would give an edge to the Evade. They just have some of the best straps in general, at least for my preferences. It's just really comfy, beefy straps. You have the breathable mesh on the inside. Evergoods straps have a good amount of comfort, but just not quite as much on the padding front as the Evade straps. They have their new fabric, which is meant to be more breathable, but I still don't feel like it's quite as good as the air mesh. And then the Evade is gonna give you a lot more sort of ability to tweak how the bag sits on your shoulders. You have the load lifters at the top. You can adjust the straps. They both have a nice sternum strap to help distribute the weight. And then the Evade does have the ability to add an additional waist belt that's sold separately if you want some extra support. And I really like the Evergood straps a, because they don't have load lifters. I don't always use those too much. I feel like they just kind of lead to a cluttered, messy look. So I've always been a fan of the Evergood style where it just kind of rolls over your shoulders very nicely. But I know that the harness for Evergoods does not suit everybody well, especially as we shift into the back paneling. So again, both of these are comfortable, but the Evade is really the style that I tend to gravitate towards. Again, same sort of just robust padding well ventilated with the mesh and then this large air channel down the middle to provide you with plenty of airflow while you're walking around. The CTB has that same new fabric that Evergoods has created. You do have some elevation here to create a little bit of airflow, but 
generally, at least for me, it's just not quite the same as what you see on the Evade. The other aspect with Evergoods bags in general is that depending on your height, the bottom of the bag can tend to dig into your back uncomfortably. I've never had that issue. I've always been fairly lucky with Evergoods harnesses, which is why I continue to enjoy using their bags a lot because I do find them quite comfortable, but it feels like if there's any doubt, the Evade might just be a better fit for more people. And then the other thing to call out here is that they both do have a luggage pass-through, which is really nice. Here, I do much prefer the implementation on the CTB26 because of the amount of space that it provides. Also, this layout just feels more stable. This is very much just an elastic band, which can work, but this feels very secure. And it also pairs nicely with the handle and the orientation of the laptop compartment. So this all just works very nicely together, whereas the one on the Evade feels a little bit more like, you know, it was it was added, but it's not quite as easy to use it with how the laptop compartment is oriented and the fact that, again, you don't have the handles on the side. Jumping into the organizational options, this is an area where both of these bags really shine compared to so many of the other options that are currently on the market. They do an excellent job of offering a nice variety of pockets that are well distributed throughout the bag and that are very useful. I personally tend to gravitate a little bit more towards the Evergood setup in general. For many years now, they've had some of my favorite pocket layouts, but the Evade definitely offers a great layout as well, so it'll probably just come down to your preferences and the types of things that you're carrying. Starting off on the quick access front, both of them have a zipper quick access area on the front of the bag. And so the Evade has this nice soft nywool on the inside to help prevent against scratching. A good amount of volume here uh, for some sunglasses or any other kind of tech accessories that you might be grabbing more regularly. The CTB, has this very spacious compartment on the front. It doesn't have the soft lining, but this is one of the most useful pockets that they've added to their line of any of their bags. I really love how much volume this provides. I'll tend to put pouches in here in addition to other items that I'm accessing very regularly. So this has a little bit more space than this one here, but I believe that they were also intended for different uses. And then Evergoods has their top quick access on the yoke, which I absolutely love. This is another just very easy to access compartment. This is where I'll typically have my sunglasses, my AirPods, and you just have a nice amount of volume here that doesn't eat into the other compartments. So a really cool system there. Alpha 1.9er on the other hand has the additional pocket on the front. This is a newer pocket to the Evade line. So this is gonna be good for those items that you know, you're still accessing regularly. You have a decent amount of volume here might start to get tricky to balance the space because the compartment behind this one does share some volume so you kind of have to plan that out uh, but in general still nice to have quick access exterior pockets for both of them and then they both have kind of an admin style area evergoods has the vertically oriented compartment which works well with the briefcase carry this still has some volume added here i'd put a pouch in here just to kind of show the volume but with that out of the way, you can see that there's plenty of space here, even if you choose not to use the internal organization, but there is a little lanyard with a carabiner. You have a zippered mesh compartment on the inside, a couple of slip pockets. So even though it's fairly minimal, it's useful, well thought out. For the Evade, you have an admin area that also has internal organization here. This compartment goes all the way to the bottom. So you do have some flexibility with how you use this. You have a couple of slip pockets and then you have a hook and loop backing, which is meant to pair with organizer accessories that Alpha 1.9er sells separately from the bag. If you wanna give yourself even more organization here on the lid, you can see that magnet patch area that I mentioned earlier. You also have a little clip where you can place your keys, a multi-tool. You have a zipper pocket on the back. So still a nice variety of options. You have a little D-ring. So you know, in general, I still, like I said, prefer the Evergoods version, but this has worked out very nicely as well. And then moving into the laptop compartments, both of these offer a really protective laptop area. Different implementations, again, Evergoods with the vertical zipper, which pairs nicely with the handle, with the luggage pass-through. When you're going through TSA, you can reach in, grab your device quickly. The Evergoods sleeve offers a nice amount of padding. It's suspended off the bottom of the ground. You also have this Velcro strap to allow you to secure your device. 
and you have some additional space here to store a tablet or notebook, other items. This also doubles as a hydration area. You can thread the nozzle through and it comes out through the strap. So that's another unique benefit of the CTB. So great implementation there. The Evade has a top loading compartment. The layout here is interesting as this is pretty integrated into the main compartment. There's just a little divider that separates it, but it offers a nice amount of padding. It's suspended as well off the bottom of the ground. They can both handle 15 and 16 inch laptops very comfortably. And you know, I, I think it's pretty even as far as both of the compartments. I don't have a strong preference either way, I suppose. I kind of like that when the Evade is standing up, I can reach down and just grab my laptop. I think that that is very convenient. But for traveling, I've actually enjoyed the CTB a little bit more for the reasons that I mentioned earlier with the luggage pass-through. And then moving into the main compartment, both of these have a clamshell style opening to allow you to easily pack the bags out and just be able to hold a ton of stuff with the Evade. Of course, if you have the compression straps on, you have to release those, but again, just full visibility into these bags and the volume is gonna be fairly similar. I've been continuously impressed with just how much the Evade manages to hold. Again, at 25 liters, this just feels like it can hold almost as much as a 28 or 30 liter bag. The CTB26 also punches above its weight, but you can start to see that just feels like the Evade is maybe slightly wider or something. It just feels a little bit bigger. It might just also be because of the contouring shape that Evergoods has on this line of bags. Regardless, they can both hold plenty of stuff. Really simple layout, great for packing cubes and modular organization. I just tossed in a bunch of different stuff here to just showcase the space. Uh, so in the CTB, I have a compression packing cube from Tortuga, the TomTuck pouches that I had just laying around and then in the Evade, I have my typical packing cube setup. So I have a dot kit, the small peak design packing cube, and then the larger one. That same setup should fit into the CTB26 pretty much as easily. But when I do this, again, it just feels like there's a little bit more leftover space on this side here. Uh, but I'll go ahead and empty it out so you can see both of them empty side by side pretty you know, simple layouts here. They both have a nice sleeve on the back that will work well for tablet or just for separating out other flatter items on the inside. I don't tend to use these that much. This is that nice elastic material that Evergoods uses. This is more the same type of liner that Evergoods has in the rest of the bag. Then they both have some attachment points near the top. Evergoods has a three rows here of webbing Alpha 1 Niner has the one, and then it has attachment points all throughout that also pair with accessories that they sell. One of the interesting things about the Evade is that it has this laptop compartment that is part of the main area. It's separated by this Velcro wall, so you can open this and technically access your laptop if you wanted to. You can see here that it's clearly suspended. So very useful layout for both of these. And then taking a look at the lids, additional organization is provided here. So the Evade has you know, the two pockets set up. You have one that does not have mesh, so it's gonna be a little bit more hidden for anything that you're storing in here. And then a larger mesh compartment on the bottom with a good amount of volume, as well as a D-ring. And then the CTB has similarly a compartment that does not have mesh, so a little bit more hidden. This one does have a couple of slip pockets on the inside, which is always helpful. I've used this a lot for my travel documentation and items that I'm not accessing as regularly. And then they have a slightly larger zippered compartment on the bottom. I also really like the way the volume is used on Evergoods' bags. So I could place something pretty bulky in here and it'll come outward. It's not gonna impede my usage of the main area, whereas this one kind of comes inward. So I kind of have to balance how I actually you know, organize everything a little bit more. Also with the orientation of the zipper here on the CTB. It's meant to be used so that if you're carrying this by the handle, you can open the bag up a little bit, access this compartment. So everything is very well thought out in that regard. But both of them, as you can see, offer just a really great variety of pockets and an impressive amount of space, excellent build qualities. They really are two of the most full featured bags that check off 
the boxes that I'm talking about constantly with the water bottle pocket, being able to stand up well on their own, good laptop compartments, it's just excellent overall. You know, as far as the pricing between the two, I think they're fairly close. These are in a more premium range. They're over $200 for both of them. I believe the CTB is starting to get close to the $300 mark. Same for the Evade, depending on the fabric. Um, so it's pretty comparable there. And honestly, I think either one that you go with, you're gonna be pretty happy because these, these are bags that can pretty much do it all. As I've mentioned, you know, a couple times throughout the video and in previous videos, the CTB26 continues to me to be kind of my favorite of most of the bags that I've been using. I just like the aesthetic in addition to the organizational layout a little bit more than the Evade, but you know, that still doesn't change the fact that the Evade is an excellent option. So with all of those things considered and how similar the bags are, you know, I think it'll just come down to what you prefer as far as aesthetics and how you organize everything. And so that's it. Those are some of the similarities and differences between the CTB26 and the Evade 1.5. Hopefully this video was helpful and if you have any questions on anything that we covered during the video or suggestions for similar items or comparisons that you'd like to see in the future, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I'll make sure to include links in the description below to the dedicated reviews that I've done for each of these bags as well as to some of the other roundup videos that I've done where I talk about my favorite everyday carry backpacks, my favorite minimal travel bags. There are some options there that may be good alternatives to these if you wanna check those out. And I want to thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.